Today, we are going to be playing the trumpet. That is what I think this vehicle is known as. So let's go ahead and make some music today. Uh, I can't actually remember what the name of this thing was. Oh yeah, SPJFM 43 through 44. So maybe some sort of destroyer around the 1943, 1944 time frame. But at Look at this, 1.7 BR, and we've got a 150 millimeter gun. I do these uh, mini nuke launcher videos sometimes. Saw this thing, I had seen some other videos, and I was just thinking, let's go ahead and give this thing a try. Not too often do you see a tank destroyer with a machine gun you can use. I can see where that trumpet, <laughs> <laughs> thing comes from a bit now seeing the back of this thing it looks whoa sorry about that m22 little friendly passing maybe it was a good maybe it was just his way of giving me like a good game you know like out in sports and baseball they give a little slap on the friend's rear just uh before they prance on out to the uh the the batting plate Okay, so coming out here, gonna be entering the battlefield. Check on out to our right hand side, see what we can see, who's gonna be our next victim. Now I ended up waking up a little late last night. Uh, son just had a little bit of a coughing fit. Not sure if he's asthmatic or if it's more allergy related. So kind of running on a little bit of sleep. Went to the doctors, got some sort of inhaler just for the time being until we can kind of find things out. It's always a little scary with uh, your kid when kind of wakes up and has a little bit of a hard time breathing. Okay. Let the boom. He's a big fan of tanks too. I've made some posts every once in a while of him playing with his little plastic army man and little tank sets and kits and things like that. <laughs> He's always like, Dad, how do you do that? How do you kill those tanks? Son, let me show you. Come grab a hold of the controls. I try to have him up on my lap when he like pushes the buttons and that ends up kind of being a disaster sometime. <laughs> It's a little different when maybe you're in a car driving down the neighborhood getting the mailbox with your son. But when it's like intense and you're having to listen to sounds and where things are in the map, it's... Oh, here we go. Oh, this is going to be... <laughs> that was a bit excessive. 150 millimeter explosive for that tiny little soft, squishy tank. This cannon is almost just like ridiculous at this BR. I feel like this thing, you could really play this thing at a much, much higher BR. I mean, it actually has pretty good mobility. I mean, I just did a video on the ISU 152. Now that thing has 152, but I mean, you could probably do something even up around that kind of BR with this. This thing is lethal. Oh, now I don't know if he quite saw me, but let's see if we can get him. Um, now he's still pushing that other way. He may be looking at something else. I'm guessing here. Oh my gosh, what a perfect drop on that SU or whatever that was. Holy cow. Seriously, it's those kind of shots that just feel good. The enemy controls most of the strategic zones. It's always interesting. I mean, this is kind of interesting. It has this like little flap door down on the right-hand side. You have to imagine while guys were driving around. I mean, of course, in real life, they, they were never trying to like just fire on the move. I mean, we use these vehicles in War Thunder. Even though War Thunder tries to give these things the specs, uh, a bit more brutally than I think they had actually used them in real life. Okay, I think I'm... I think I may be hearing something. Over to my right. 
Oh, shoot. Okay, I was thinking, I wasn't too sure. It kind of sounded, okay, I'm not sure if he saw me. Let's see if we can surprise him over here around the corner. Keep it up. The victory will be ours. Is he coming? Okay, there he is. <laughs> there is just something so evil about shooting something this massive and this much explosive mass is just ridiculous. Oh, okay. We got a fast tank coming our way. Now, this thing's pretty fast going forward, but looks like we may be struggling on the reverse. Shoot, I need to get this thing turned around. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, make sure. Oh, did my teammate take him out? Okay, I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, okay, there's more. <laughs> I can just totally imagine just the reaction of people's faces like, oh, shoot. Okay, this guy, I just did a video on this, and his pen's okay. He can get through me, I think. I got to be a little careful. It's not going to take take much to blow him to uh, kingdom come, so we'll... The enemy has most of the strategic zones. Okay, we got some teammates coming up here right behind me. Let's mark him on the map. Hmm. And even if he does take a shot at me, he's got a decent reload, if I remember. And for me to get my tank all the way around the corner and turn... Okay, it looks like he might have turned the other way. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it almost looked like if that truck had hair, it almost looks like like when yeah, oh shoot. He must have ended up taking out my friend. Okay, machine gun may come in handy. Woo. Man, we may actually may be on a 10 rounds, 10 kill streak so far. Oh no. Okay, I'm still reloading here, and I'm hearing some guys off to my left-hand side, too. This. Okay, yep, I think I just saw him hide behind this guy. Defend the is that him? Or is that... I can't quite tell. Okay. <laughs> he, like, had no idea. I, I thought for a second he actually knew where I was. All right, let's go back over. We need to get B. I don't know if I'm leaving this a little too prematurely. I think we've done, I think we've done enough destruction over here. We need to go get B and it looks like our team may be pushing up on A. Let's see what we can do to help. Yeah, those rounds, I mean, you can see just right down in there, they're a decent size. I, I wonder like, so, you just push the round in through the back of that trumpet. Hey, there's two of us. And then, you know, as much as I have played tank games over the course of seven to eight years now, I'm not quite sure how a shell is actually loaded. I can't imagine it works like a gun where you like load it in the chamber and then you have to like cock it back like a gun. The light forces have captured a zone. I. That would be super difficult. If anyone has shot a real pistol and tried cocking it back, sometimes those are really hard to do. The movies make it look so easy, where they're just kind of like flipping their guns around and just the jerk of their wrist will end up cocking the gun and then they're going into some action-packed fighting scene and then here I am trying to cock a pistol and it takes like, <laughs> All right. Okay, this this is looking pretty good so far. The 150 millimeter is like no mercy at this round. But anyway, I'm not this bad, but when I would first tried to shoot a pistol when I was much, much younger, I almost had to like try using my legs and my arms. Makes me sound like a puny, scrawny little kid.
Now they don't have little vehicles like this in World of Tanks uh, Blitz. Two OP is what they say, but War Thunder's like, hey, let's go. Okay, I see some guys marked over to the right. Team's doing pretty good. We've got all capture points. I'm actually impressed we haven't taken quite any hits yet. Okay, so their spawn is right over that hill. Let's see if we can maybe find somebody else on this side. Somebody's marked right up over in this side of the hill. Are we gonna be able to see him? Oh, there he is. Are we gonna get it? Are we gonna get it? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Seriously, total overkill. All right, are we gonna do this? What do you guys think? All right, well there's spawns like right here. Is that somebody? No. I feel kind of bad just getting a kill right in their spawn, but I mean we have almost just about all sides and C's a little too far away. Okay, you know what? I just want to get 10 kills, 10 shots. So let's see if we can maybe find someone. Yeah, gunfire coming down this way. Marked on the map. He took out my friend. Can we get him? Oh, nope, not quite. Ah, we're the opponent. <laughs> my counterpart. Man, this thing is a lot of fun. Seriously, I would be really curious to take this out at a much higher BR and try this thing out. This, just, this thing just seems to rip apart and just be so easy to just annihilate anything that comes in its path. Yeah, this gun is just insanely ridiculous. Well, I need to go back and get more ammo, but I don't even think I'm gonna have enough time to do so. The game actually looks like it may finish. Yep. Okay. Well, two thumbs up here from The Muffin. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this. This is The Muffin here. You guys stay cool and keep tanking.